Hello, I'm Stanley Brannan of Aikido Journal. Today I'd like to talk for a few moments about Aiki News and Aikido Journal, which were publications that I began many, many years ago, actually back in 1974, and uh, we published continuously through the year 2000. Of course, now we operate uh, through our website, aikidojournal.com, but uh, in the early days before the internet technology, we, we were a print medium. And I'd like to just tell you a little bit about how this whole thing began. What happened was back in 1968, as I recall, I was a student at UC Berkeley in California. And a professor friend of mine who uh, taught Aikido together with me at the university gave me a collection of articles. It was a partial set of a series that was published in a newspaper in Japan back in 1966. Well, what he handed me were English translations that were done by a Japanese student, and the English was uh, quite shaky, and uh, some of the names in there of important people, like Tohei Sensei, were uh, read wrong. And so it was hard to tell for someone uh, who had never been connected with Aikido what the reading of certain important names were. So since I just had a natural interest in history, I uh, got hold of copies of these and then uh, also received some photographs of the uh, actual Japanese. And together with the successions of Japanese friends, I set about retranslating them and uh, using my knowledge of Aikido and uh, the history of the art to use the correct readings of names and things like this. This was just done out of personal interest, but uh, there were a number of people in my circle who were in interested in seeing the articles that we did produce. So I just got a mimeograph machine and uh, each time we would complete a translation, I would mimeograph off maybe 30 or 40 copies and distribute them uh, to the places that I visited regularly in my Aikido uh, teaching and training. Later on, uh, in 1969, I made my first trip to Japan, and uh, what I wanted to do was to find the entire series of 16 articles. They were called Kawari Dane Nihonjin, which mean, uh, means remarkable or exceptional Japanese. And so I went down to the National Diet Library in Tokyo, and I didn't know the name of the publication at that time, but I could tell one of the uh, kanji had uh, higashi, which means east. It's the first kanji in Tokyo. So I figured that the uh, name of the newspaper that these articles were published in uh, had Tokyo in it. So, uh, little by little, through process of elimination, after spending several hours, I was able to uh, find the actual newspaper, which was called Tokyo Times. It was a sports uh, publication and I was able to then uh, photograph using a little camera that I had there all of the uh, 16 or maybe it was 17 articles in the series. Uh, I took these back uh, to the States when I returned uh, from Japan and then over a period of time, actually it was a, a couple of years, uh, we redid the translations and completed the entire series. Uh, again, I uh, began to distribute these informally, but this was kind of an awkward way of doing it. I was always running out and would have to reproduce more mimeograph copies. So uh, along about 1974, I decided to make up a little newsletter and use these uh, translations of the historical articles of uh, O Sensei as the basis for the publication. I was in Monterey, California at that time, and uh, so what I did was publish the Osensei articles and then add local news about Aikido in Northern California and a little bit about other areas. People would send in little news items that we would add to it. And we came up with just a, a real simple newsletter. This is just a photocopy back from the old days. Here's the 
the articles, uh, the translations, and here's a little editorial that I wrote. And this particular issue has the, the structure of the home dojo in Japan. And uh, there's a dojo listing. Uh, then over the years, after I relocated to Japan uh, permanently, uh, we started publishing a little bit more sophisticated uh, newsletters that looked something like this. This is what uh, the this is a 25th issue, and then here's one more from about that same period. Then a little later on, uh, we moved to a bilingual format. Here, for example, is uh, number 61, and you can see the English and the Japanese text here, and the magazines during that period of time had a bilingual format. One of the reasons for doing this was uh, so that the original Japanese would always be preserved alongside of the translations. And it, it uh, turned out to be a good idea because we could always go back and uh, if there was a mistranslation or some problem with the text, we could refer to the original and uh, then go ahead and fix things up. Uh, we published this continuously uh, during my uh, years in Japan, and then I moved back to the States in 1996 and published a few more issues. This is the actually the last Aikido journal. Aiki News became Aikido Journal. And uh, we had moved back to a uh, single language format. This is the English edition, and there was also a Japanese edition. Because the magazine became long enough where it was too cumbersome to continue producing both languages together. Well, um, I don't have too much time to go into more detail uh, beyond what I've uh, talked about now. Uh, but there's obviously a lot more to say with the experiences in Japan and things that we did with the publication. I just would like to point out that we have this DVD now since the, uh, apart from our archival copies of the magazines, uh, there's basically no more of them. But what we did is we scanned all of the pages of the magazines that were published over that uh, uh, 20 year plus period, and it's something like 4,300 pages, and they're all on a computer disk in here. And they're in the PDF format file, so you can look at them on your computer. Also, there's some bonus features on the uh, DVD here. Uh, the Encyclopedia of Aikido that I did back in 1989, that's also out of print, and uh, we scanned all of the pages of this too, so. There's this and a uh, historical lecture that I gave back in uh, a few years ago in Oakland, California. And uh, all of these items here uh, are contained in this DVD. And there's actually more space, so uh, we did a round to scanning other important documents, which we'll simply add them to this. But uh, if you're interested in this sort of thing and learning more about the uh, publication, I would invite you to go to uh, www aikidojournal.com and uh, there you'll find a wealth of information on Aikido, the history of the art, the philosophy, uh, hundreds and hundreds of interviews. There's over 5,000 pages of materials there, uh, plus a lot of other things like video clips and uh, hundreds and hundreds of photographs. So thank you for spending a few minutes with me and I hope you've uh, enjoyed this little chat. Uh, if uh, there's enough interest, I'll do some more of them. I would like to leave uh, some of these things that I no don't normally get a chance to talk about in a visual form so that uh, information continues to exist and be accessible. So again, thank you very much for joining us, and uh, I'll sign off here for today. Thank you very much.